Good morning, everyone. Asha here from Pandemonium. We stayed at this Cracker Barrel. But it is time to get back on the road and head further south. Before our time ends here in Florida. Press the right lane to take the I-95 South ramp, then merge onto I-95 South. So like Charlie said, we're getting back on 95 and heading south. Not that far though. We only have about 20 something miles. You comfy, Mama? You comfy? We're headed to the Cocoa Beach area, but right now we're about 215 miles north of Miami. Today is an overcast day. So nice for traveling. But it is a bit windy, which is not so good. Made to our exit. I think this is a toll road. We were trying to skip tolls, but sometimes it can just be or make the trip way longer. Right, Milma Toll Roads. And I think we're about 12 miles from Cocoa Beach. Gas here is 301, diesel 409. I just filled up where we were, it was 302. Oh, look at that old car. I've never seen one like that before. It's pretty cool. Oh. And there's the purple one. Nice. I thought this was a toll road, but I think I was mistaken. But Jeff said that the roads on the right side of 95 are toll roads heading to Orlando. We have about three more miles left. Oh, a lot of boats out there today. I've seen this before here in Florida. It must be a common thing where the parking areas, some are grass. It's like here, along the edge. It's definitely unusual. All right, Mimo, come on. That's it. Good girl. Jeff just made it. He was stuck at a light. We did check all states, and this one is RV friendly for a night. Came to U-Haul to get some propane, but first I had to unhook my truck. It's not getting in that was the problem, it's the turnaround. I probably could have made it, but I just feel better. Because if I could have made this turn, then I would have had to unhook my truck anyways. Propane here was $2.95 a gallon, which has been the cheapest I've found so far. It's usually about $3.99. You ready, Mumu? Good girl. Let's go back. Nope, wouldn't have been able to make it. Good thing I left the truck back at Walmart. Anyways, we're gonna head back. We're on Merritt Island now. This is Cocoa area. And the Walmart is on Cocoa Beach, I believe. I've never heard of crispy, crunchy chicken, but Jeff says it's the best chicken in town, so we're gonna try it. So basically, it's just in a convenience store. Not sure how good this is gonna be since it's in a convenience store, but we're gonna try the chicken tenders. It's Cajun too, right? Well, that's getting ready. Came out for the dogs. Yes. Yes, tell us it's good. Coochie, 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 coochie. It shouldn't be unlocked. Oh, it's not. Uh oh. That is not for you, Kellogg. <laughs> well, we wanted to bring the dogs to the local park and enjoy our chicken, but. It, they don't allow dogs here. They do have a boat launch. While we're here, so I guess we'll just sit in the car and eat. That's just annoying. There's a lot of parks around here that don't do the, or don't allow the pets. What do, what do you think you're doing, huh? Grab some of those. What are those? There's a sh few shrimp. Uh, I'll, like just grab, I'll just grab two. It says honey butter or something. Okay, and there's the chicken. It actually does look really good with a biscuit and some mac and cheese. Okay, we're gonna enjoy our meal. Look, look at the mac and cheese. Looks yummy. So far, everything is really good, and the shrimp that Jeff got, it's really flavorful. It's yummy. Okay, well, the chicken was really good, and so was the shrimp. The mac and cheese was just okay. Kind of, you know, the normal restaurant mac and cheese. Well, I've had some good mac and cheese at restaurants, but this is kind of generic. It reminds me of KFC or whatever like that. Jeff got the potato wedges. Those look really good. I should have went with those instead. Um, and the biscuit was good. Now, 
we were reading about this park. Google says that dogs are welcome, and it's very confusing, some of these parks. They have this, the signs posted saying no dogs, and the last park we were at said no dogs allowed, and then in the middle of the park was a dog park, and dogs were everywhere. So, I don't know, There's, they can be a little confusing. And then there was a second sign saying no dogs allowed, only with, I think I showed it, only with um, leash, on leash. And I was like, why don't you just say dogs allowed with leash? Right, puppies? Right. Well, since that last park that we were at was not dog friendly, we decided to bring the dogs to somewhere that was. See how their signs are so confusing? Animals, pets prohibited, dogs permitted on a short leash under control. They do have sea turtles here, but only from March 1st to October 31st. Yeah, local beaches with nesting containing 100 to 125 eggs. They live up to 50 years, and the adult size and weight can be two to four feet at 150 to 375 pounds. We've come to the Mansfield Maritime Hammock area. There's a lot of oak trees and palms. It's beautiful here. There are several beaches that surround this area. We thought we'd do this. Here's some information. If you want to pause and read. I'm not sure how long this boardwalk is, but we're going to walk for a little bit. Doesn't seem that old of a boardwalk. Found a sitting area. Interesting benches. Yeah. I feel like this place should be flooded out since they have these boardwalks that are so tall. Huh? It, seems dry. it does seem very dry. Thinking this might be a loop. So you go one way and then just come back around. I guess we'll go to the left. What? Oh, yeah. Look at the hollow tree. That's wow, very cool. Gotta be careful not to bump your head. They do have a lot of benches and seating area. I guess people just come here and watch the wildlife. Yeah, it is a loop. Jeff made a good point. Maybe they added in this deck so it's more handicap friendly or accessible. The trail didn't look too bad, but it is sandy. How'd you like it, Mimo? You liked it? All right, we made it back to the loop beginning, so exit this way. And this wasn't too far. Well, that was enjoyable, but we're gonna be getting back on the road and heading a little further south. end up getting on US-1 and it is definitely more scenic. A lot of nice lovely homes. Ooh, pretty the bay. And a lot of nice fancy homes on the other side. Now in about four miles we'll be getting on 404 and heading west, and then eventually getting back on 95. So I believe the Cracker Barrel is right off of 95. Yeah, a lot of beautiful homes on the right-hand side. And I wonder if these piers that go out are privately owned by the homes across the road, it seems like it. They seem to be exactly adjacent to each home. Yeah, that's what it definitely seems like. Each home has a pier, which, wow, that's awesome. Although it's kind of weird, the road kind of goes through, so 
You have to cross the road to get over to the pier. And there are private property signs on the pier, so yeah, that's definitely the case. Now there's fancy homes on both sides of the road. But there is water on both sides of the road as well. So each home backs up to water. It's a little strip or an island, causeway, whatever you want to call it. This is beautiful through here. I love all the established trees and the palms. In a quarter mile, turn right onto the Florida 404 West ramp to US 1. I did see a few homes for sale here. I'm sure they're really expensive. Oh wow, that one we just passed is huge. Okay, here we are, Florida 404. Oh, that sun is bright. So we still have about 18 miles till our stopping point. That's what we were driving along on the right-hand side. Indian River. I think 95 is about four miles up the road. And then it shouldn't be much longer after that. Okay, whoa, what's going on here? Oh, they're broke down. All right, we're getting back on 95 South. We have about 12 miles till our exit. So not too bad. Definitely a bit gustier than I thought it would be today. That was unpleasant. But we made it to our exit. 176. Moo moo, we're here. Okay, we have made it here, and I think this back parking lot is designated for. Oh, nope. Hold on. No overnight parking. There is a sign here saying no overnight parking. Turn right, then your destination will be on the right. Huh. In 800 feet, turn right. Okay, Charlie, I get it. So there is a sign here that says no overnight parking. Okay, there's another one of those signs. So we might have to look up another spot. Yeah, but the lot has, uh, the lot that um, y'all looked up has the uh, no overnight parking signs everywhere. Ooh, move that breeze feels wonderful. There's no signs back here. Did you hear our conversation about the no overnighting here? I see a red sign by your rig that says no overnight parking. Also, when you enter right there, you went right by it, it says no overnight. Okay, I do not see any signs saying no overnight parking. I did end up seeing a tow-away zone sign. It didn't specifically say no overnighting, but we didn't want to push our luck. So we're going to head on down to Vero Beach area. There's another Cracker Barrel there. Does everybody have a pen? No, not yet. Ready to go, Mama? You ready to go? That's the area we wanted to be in anyways. We were just kind of stopping along the way. Take the next right onto Malabar Road, then turn right onto the I-95 South ramp. So yeah, that's 
what we're doing. It's only about 30 miles from here, so not bad. Seatbelt on. Yeah, I feel better. I got a nice full tank of gas again. Turn right onto the I-95 South ramp. Seems like they're RV friendly. Take the next left, then turn left. What do you think, man? Would this gonna work? Yeah? We're right next to where the RVs park on the other side of the building. It's just a little quieter over here. And I'm just squeezed in right here. So we're probably gonna go inside and have some dinner here and then call it a night and like I said, we're gonna do some exploring in this area, so we'll be here for a day or two, and um, then head over to the West Coast. We're taking the dogs for a quick walk before we eat dinner. That seems like this sidewalk is a bit overgrown. Isn't it, Moo Moo? Ooh, squeeze through. Hopefully it'll be quiet here tonight, even though it is by 95. I don't think it's that busy in this area. So this business is closed and the motorhome is kind of blocking the entrance. I don't know if that's intentional. So they're trying to prevent people from going in there. It looks very overgrown. Huh. So we decided to go with the sampler and some biscuits. So it's the meatloaf, the chicken, and macaroni and cheese. Also some broccoli. Don't forget, if you want to watch more videos, you can check them out over here. And if you want to subscribe or check out Patreon, it'll be right over there. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. Mwah.